Hey y'all, Laura here from Cox Homestead, and I wanted to do a little vlog update on my rabbit fiasco that happened where I lost two litters on the same night. It was so devastating. Well, I went ahead and rebred Marsha. She had another litter and all of them died again. So Marsha has since been rehomed. She's with a sweet family now that's taking good care of her. And I rebred Annie and she had no babies. So I don't think her pregnancy took. I did breed immediately after the loss. So gave her some grace there. We went ahead and breed her one more time. And I am out here today happy to report that she has seven healthy babies in the nest box all alive. So all that to say is I think something very weird and strange happened in the barn that night when I lost two litters in a row. Now, while Mar why Marsha lost her second litter, I don't know. That is still very bizarre to me. Um, but um, she got two strikes and we moved on. So, But Annie gives us big babies that grow out fast. I hear them right now if you heard that squeaking um big babies that grow up fast so we decided it was worth giving her another chance to keep her and i have also kept one of her daughters to uh, raise more babies for so i'm going to show you this so here is annie and her nest she did pull all the hay straw out of there and it was down underneath and she just has fur which is going to be okay i believe and she has seven healthy babies in there. I've already checked on them twice today, so I'm not doing much of a check now. But as you saw, she came and sniffed me and said, okay, mom, that's enough. I'm doing good this time. And uh, I will slide them back. But that is a huge success. I was afraid that, you know, once they had a taste, because she had nibbled on some too, or something had nibbled on them. It was the most bizarre thing. I don't know. I will try and link that video here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not super techie, so if I don't figure it out, there will not be a, a link here. But it was so bizarre. I'd come out that night and both litters were all dead and half eaten. So very, very bizarre. And then this is her baby we have kept. She just got moved into Buffy's old cage. Look, there's Buffy's tag. Buffy is retired. She went to her new home today. And this is, I'll have to come up with a name. So we have Annie. Maybe this is Annie Jr. I don't know. Um, a little spin on the musical Annie Jr. She's down here in Buffy's cage now. And she's taking in all the smells and everything. Once she gets used to her new space, probably within a couple days, I will breed her with Mr. Hopper, who is our Harlequin. He is so full of personality. And I'm curious to see what kind of babies these two can make. I'm not counting on him to give me the biggest grow outs, but I am hoping for some unique pelts and colors as I start to work with our local 4-H chapter and teaching on rabbits. I thought it might be a fun little project for me to share with the students that I'm teaching. So that is Mr. Hopper. Isn't he fun? He's so fun. But anyways, positive update here at the farm. Help but get excited and share that with you and told you that I would try my best to do a follow-up. And that is what I have to share. While I'm in here, I will go ahead and show you what else is happening. This is Essence. She will probably have babies tomorrow. She's in there now. I don't, I'm not quite sure what is going on. Uh, but this, she has small babies. She's the one that had the the one and a half pound grow outs of meat afterwards. Oh, they were like three and a half pounds, but once processed, they were like a pound and a half, if, even that. So she's going to be retiring too. Just, I had kept her because she looked like her mama and I loved her mama so much. And this is Miss Bonnie. Whoop. Let me find Bonnie's little Bonnie. Bonnie has, I believe, I didn't write it down. No, no. Yeah, that's right. She has nine babies in there. She had 10 born. And she lost one. You want to know what this stuff is on here? That is Bob, the buck, across from me, who sprays. <laughs> so if ever you start to see yellow stuff around your rabbitry, that is a spraying buck who is ready to mate. Um, Bob had several chances, and it just didn't work out for him and Buffy. So he went to a new home. Let me show you these cuties. They are doing so well. And I am so baffled because here is this red rabbit. And I did not breed her with my red buck. I, I, I'm hoping it'll be a tricolor because there's some brown in there. We'll see. But totally did not breed her with my with my um, red buck. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to message Clyde's, Clyde's original mommy and see if there's any red in his lineage. Because I just cannot figure out where that's coming from. Let me show you who I bred her with. 
I bred Bonnie with Clyde, who is not red at all. He's like a dark brown and black. Um, anyways, don't know. Don't know about that, but we got a red baby out of it. Here's Bob. The sweet little boy that is spraying everywhere. See, he is super happy and spraying right now because he's had some does in close quarter. Right now, his cage is cut in half because we had some fighting in our grow out pen and I put her in here. Fighting is normal. We just have had these grow outs way too long and I tried to sell them and there's not been any takers. So they're supposed to get processed today and then our water heater went out. So hopefully they'll get processed sometime this week and Bob will have his full cage back. Oh, I hear babies. <gasps> Oh yeah, Essence is just sitting in there eating the hay. I had to use hay this time because we're currently out of straw and uh, she's decided to go in her box and eat hay. I'm gonna get her a handful of hay. Here's her handful of hay. I hope you enjoyed this little blog update from our barn and the hope that there is that not uh, all bad litters turn to all bad litters after that, that sometimes they just have a bad litter. And I have a feeling that it had something to do with something going on in the barn that night because we've never had anything that bizarre happen before. There you go, Essence, come and eat that instead. So um, we're pushing on. We've had several successful litters after that, and I have hope that we will continue to have more. We have an upcoming workshop here at our homestead. It is Raising Rabbits 101. It takes place on February the 11th. Registration for that is on our website, and I will leave that link in the description below. I hope that you will plan to join. And there is a part two to that, and it is called Processing Rabbits, and that takes place March the 4th. Um, both of those you can sign up on our website. Hope to see you here, and if you're not local to me, you can always make a road trip because I live in Sevier County, which is the vacation destination of the South. You can go see the Smokies and hang out with some rabbits. What could get better? Until next time, friends, eat more rabbit! <laughs>